Hey guys, welcome to your uh, 2025 reading for Pisces. Um, this reading is going to be jam-packed with information. We're going to talk about career, money, personal growth, spiritual growth, healing, and love. Um, so apply this to your own unique situations. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. I'm going to go live. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Anyone interested in wanting to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. So, what messages do we have for, for Pisces? First, I'm going to start with the overall theme for you guys in 2024. You know, what's dominating your energies during this time here or during 2025? All right, so we have heart chakra. We have authority, all right? And also the waiting game here and temptation, okay. This is a year to let go of any unhealthy attachments that you could be holding on to that's hindering your personal growth and your spiritual growth. You guys are letting this go. Yeah, you guys are overcoming perhaps addiction, okay? Perhaps behavioral issues here, you know? Perhaps any sort of unhealthy attachments that you might have with anything or anybody here, you're just letting it go. Anything that's negative here, you're letting it go here. So one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're truly opening your heart up to new things. You guys are shifting your consciousness and your awareness here. You guys are shifting out of this negative energy to a positive, more, more of a positive energy here. So, you know, with authority here, I feel like you guys are taking charge of your life. You know, I feel like you guys are no longer handing your power away to individuals here that have hurt you, you know? And I feel like you guys are reclaiming it and really taking full control here, okay? And not allowing others to control how you live your life here. Okay, so, you know, I do see, see, feel that you guys are definitely releasing here because I feel like you guys have been kind of like a, stuck in the stagnant energy or this negative energy here for a long time. Okay, we have temptation, heart chakra, authority, and the waiting game. Tell me about uh, Pisces and their career and their finances. Tell me about Pisces and their career and their finances for 2025 for Pisces here. Pisces, we have cheering you on through thick and thin. They see the best in you, loving you, loving what you are doing here. Okay, so there could be someone here that's really supportive of your career and your finances at this time here. This could be a romantic partner, could be a friend or something like that, okay? Um, perhaps you guys could be stepping into a work or doing work where you're getting full support from your team members here, okay? So... Seems like you guys are de definitely getting a lot of support, getting a lot of help here, okay? Perhaps this is something that you're trying to attract or this is something that you're trying to manifest here. We have lights on, be prepared and alert. Moment of awakening. Maintain positive outlook, new ideas will come to you here. Yeah, so if you guys have been stuck in the stagnant energy here, I do feel like new ideas will start popping in at some point here, but it's a matter of shifting your consciousness and your awareness here. And I see you guys, like I said, I see you guys achieving this here. Okay, achieving some sort of balance here in your life, or that you guys are clearing out your karma, or that any so, so, sort of self inflicting karma that you're creating on yourself here, you are going to stop doing that, okay, or that you're going to let that go. All right, what else do we have here for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know when it comes to the career in their finances here for um, 2025? For Pisces, for Pisces. All right, Pisces, we have the Hermit, Virgo energy here, and the Empress here. Some of you is turning back on the work that they need to do here because I feel like some of you is about to step into this Empress energy here, okay? But some of you is having a hard time introspecting, self-reflecting at this time here or connecting with themselves. Like, I feel like some of you also has a hard time being alone or being single here, okay? We do have that authority, which is that, it's like the Emperor 
card in this deck here. So it could be that you're dealing, you were dealing with a divine counterpart that has broken your heart here, and that you guys are finally letting that the, 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 uh, this this energy go, or any negative energy surrounding this person here, you're letting it go here. Okay, the Hermit Virgo energy, the Empress Libra Taurus here. You know what? When when it comes to the Empress here, you know I feel like you guys are definitely trying to ma master manifest, or that you're trying to manifest what you want in your career and your finances here. So I feel like you know when it comes to your career and your finances, it's a year of manifesting here for you, manifesting what you want, manifesting the life and the reality that you want here, creating what you want. We have the Nine of Wands here. You guys are really burnt out when it comes to the current work that you're in. Yeah, but you know, I do feel like at some point here, you know, even though, you know, your work situation might be, I would say a little bit shaky here, I do feel like you will find gratitude and appreciation for it here. And I do feel like eventually it will lead into something more where a light bulb will turn on and that, you know, you guys will move towards something new and something better here. Okay, what else do we have here for Pisces? Talk about Pisces and their healing, personal growth and their spiritual growth here for Pisces. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're no longer going to complain. So this is another thing where I feel like you're taking control of your life here. Let's see, we have wedding ring, beginning of a new relationship, solutions to your problem. Yeah, some of you guys, I feel like more so that there's no relationship beginning here, but we'll see. It could be that a relationship is beginning here, but you're resolving your own personal problems here. Okay, uh, you know, this there could be someone here that is constantly complaining about their life, how sucky it is, okay, and they're giving too much power to the suckiness, and that you guys are trying to switch it around or turn it around here. Now, this could be someone that you're dealing with, or that's good, or that this could be you here. We also have Poppy, higher education, transformation, wealth, and financial hope, hopefulness. potential growth, and positive changes and improvements here. So, I feel like what's happening during 2025, I feel like, you know, you guys are experiencing potential growth and positive changes and improves, improvement in your life overall in general here, okay? So I feel like more so that wedding ring is resolutions to your own personal problems here, all right? What else do we, yeah, we also have the bird here. We have renewal transitions. Freedom, lightness, risk taker, thrill seeker, adventure, new love. Yeah, so I feel like you guys are definitely stepping into this. It's kind of like this new version of yourself. You know, I do feel like you guys are perhaps right now in this very moment, you guys are going through some sort of deep spiritual transformation that's really difficult and that, you know, going into 2025, it's, it's going to start to alleviate more here. What else do we have here for Pisces? Tell about Pisces in their personal growth and their spiritual growth here. What does Pisces need to know when it comes to that? The hangman here, that's you right here, and the five of cups. Any, like I said, any sort of negative emotions that you have been privy to a victim of, you know, to your own sadness, to your own trauma, to your own pain, to your own hurt, you guys are releasing it here. You guys are no longer holding on to it. Because I feel like energetically, has it has really held you guys back for a very long time. And I feel like you guys don't want to sabotage yourself like this. We have the Five of Pentacles here. You guys are experiencing a lot of spiritual and personal changes here. And I feel like with the Emperor here, things are starting to get back in order here for you guys, okay? So some of you guys could be overcoming personal obstacles, financial obstacles here during this time, and that you guys are getting into this more, uh, getting back into this more of a stable place here, uh, um, uh, Pisces, okay? What else do we have here for Pisces? Tell about Pisces in love. What's going on Pisces in love here? Tell about Pisces in love. Okay, so we have drinking the Kool-Aid, listen to others and disregards their own feelings here. I feel like this is you. Remember I was saying that someone here is getting, giving too much credit or too much power to other people here. This is about reclaiming your power here and not giving it away. Even though to the people that has done this dirty here, this is about reclaiming your power here and you know standing up for ourselves here and having boundaries with people here too. Let's see what else we have here. We also have critical juncture. This is really interesting. This is a year of transformation, change, and growth here for you guys. This is for your own self-love here. 
Okay, we have taken a big leap of, leap of faith. Major decisions affecting the outcome, turning points that alter the course of your own evolution here, and perhaps the connection that you guys are in or that you guys were in. What else do we have here for Pisces? Tell me about Pisces in love. What's going on with Pisces in love? Two of Wands here and the Three of Cups, okay? Two of Wands and the Three of Cups here. King of Wands, Aries, Eagle, Sagittarius, Energy, and the Six of Wands here. Let's say in 2024, if you were dealing with someone here that has kept you as an option here, you know, and, you know, this individual here made you drink the Kool-Aid, made you believe in their fantasies and their illusions here. I feel like you're finally snapping out of it here and trying to move on from this. So like I said, any sort of like energies that you're holding on to that's negative here, especially when it comes to romance, you guys are letting that go. All right, what else do we have here for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know? Look out for work on for um, 2025 for Pisces. So we have the Nine of Swords. You guys are dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety here. Uh, you guys could also be overcoming it here. Yeah, there's a, there's a sense of 2025 of you overcoming here and feeling much better, feeling victorious here, feeling you know that you have achieved something very personal here. So I feel like you guys are finding success in some sort of personal journey that you guys are on here, okay? What else do we have here? What else do we have here? We also have the Eight of Wands here. Momentum is really picking up where you guys are going to be able to move forward here and leave the past behind. Yeah, basically leave this devil energy behind here. Okay, toxic relationships behind. So big changes and big shifts are really coming here for you guys, uh, uh, Pisces. So things are really looking good or th things, are looking, things are looking up for you guys. Yeah, that is what I'm getting here. Okay, so... Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right? Thanks, guys. Bye.